What's up everyone? I hope all is well and welcome to episode one of season two of Brandon on the Go. To start this year off on the right track, we are visiting the Gatineau Park, which is situated in the national capital region of Canada. It is one of my favorite places to visit. You guys know I've done many videos on the past on this location because there's some fantastic summer hiking trails, some of the best ones in the region. Unfortunately, during the winter, most of them are converted into cross country skiing trails, which means there's not that many options available. But don't worry, because today I'm gonna to be showcasing three of the best trails you can do during the winter here in the Gatineau Park. And to start off our adventure, we're here at the Mackenzie King Estate where you find some fantastic ruins and also the trail head of the L'Oreal Trail where you will find not only some great views of some sunsets, a crazy waterfall, but also a funky little tunnel which makes great Instagram pictures. So with that, let's go explore this trail. The L'Oreal Trail is a four kilometer long loop that essentially takes around an hour to an hour and a half depending on how much time you spend taking thousands of pictures of the waterfalls or of the beautiful sunsets if you arrive on time. Because of COVID, unfortunately the main parking lot is closed but you can start the trail at the parking lot P6 in the Gatineau Park and start the Mackenzie King Estate. <music> Well, I think it's safe to say that L'Oreal Trail is still just as beautiful during the summer as well as during the winter. I mean, there's just so many great things to see on this trail, whether it be the waterfall, that tunnel, the amazing sunsets when you get here just on time, a perfect trail to enjoy with the family. Now we're gonna head to the Lac Philippe Trail, which should offer some pretty impressive views of the lake. The first trail we're doing today is the Lac Philippe Trail or trail number 73 on the NCC map. And by the way, guys, I am again super privileged to be accompanied by my good friend and fellow travel vlogger, Jonathan behind the YouTube channel, Joe Explore, who by the way, makes absolutely amazing travel content. Go check him out. This trail is roughly 12 kilometers long. It should take us, I'm gonna go for a rough guess, six hours. It is minus 15 right now, so we're gonna warm ourselves up get on this trail and get a little bit of elevation. So when you're walking on the trail, you'll find the Lac Philippe. Essentially this trail goes around it. It is a five to six hour trail, as I mentioned before, which means it's a pretty big lake. Right now the lake is almost frozen, so you can start to walk on it, but please take precautions. Do not walk on it if you don't think it's safe. I don't want any TikTok videos of you guys sinking in the water, but we're gonna keep on our journey and Joe's actually gonna make a fire later on because that's the reason why I bring Joe with me. Because when you bring a survivalist, the guy can make a fire anywhere. So with that, let's keep going on the trail. Now that we're almost at the end of the trail, you arrive here at the Lac Philippe Beach, which by the way guys, is absolutely a beautiful place to come during the summer and just relax. 
There's also a camping area. You can rent camping spots. And on the way back to the car, you're gonna walk along the trail, which brings you along the lake. Now that we're done here, we're actually gonna head to the Wolf Trail, which is near the Meech Lake in the Gatineau Park. So with that, let's get to the car. Let's head over. The third trail on our list is the Wolf Trail. This is one of my favorite trails to do in the entire Gatineau Park. At roughly 8.3 kilometers long, it takes around three hours to complete and offers multiple viewpoints of the region. And if you time your hike perfectly, you can get an amazing sunset at the end, which is what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm a little bit late, but if I rush it, I might be able to make it. guys, those were the three best trails you could do this winter in the Gatineau Park that are officially open. But don't worry because I will be presenting even more trails in the near future because while some trails are not officially open, their access isn't forbidden by the NCC. Also, a quick reminder, if you're heading to the Gatineau Park, like most trails around Quebec, make sure to wear the proper equipment, notably crampons or snowshoes according to the weather as well as the trail conditions. It's for your own safety, as you guys saw in the video, the wolf trail was covered of ice and without crampons, it can be pretty dangerous. On that note, it's important to remember that most activities going on in the Gatineau Park are not free, such as snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. You either need an annual pass or you need a day pass, which you can get through the NCC on their website or through the visitor center in Chelsea. And finally, on a more sober note, right now Quebec is under a quarantine as well as a curfew that is applied not only to Quebecers, but anyone in Quebec, whether it be a visitor or a resident. Because of that, I will not be producing as many travel episodes as usual, but don't worry, because I still will be uploading tons of travel content on my Facebook page as well as Instagram and TikTok to keep you up to date on some of the things I'm doing, and I will try to publish as many videos as I can, showcasing some of the best activities you can do in the Udui region. And when travel restrictions start going back down, I will then head to other regions and promote some of the best things to do in the beautiful province of Quebec. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, hit the subscribe button down below for more travel tips, tricks, and vlogs on a weekly basis, and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Keep up to date on some of the best things I'm doing, especially my Instagram stories, because I'm putting some great content on there, notably small versions of vlogs. So with that, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and don't forget, safe travels.